stunning start to the week. It was like, duh, duh, duh. it's kind of birthday treat. But no, I'm going to wait for a little bit longer. Surprise, and I have no idea where. They're really hard to get hold of, but it makes me feel so much better. I'm trying to organise this, literally cannot wait. Oh my god, it's getting scary, isn't it? Happy birthday! Good morning, and welcome to another week. It is an absolutely stunning start to the week here in Yorkshire. Just look at that blue sky. Wow. If you are new to watching my vlogs, please make sure that you click subscribe and hit the like button um, and I will take you with me on my week and what I get up to. I've got a really fun week planned, lots of different um, things going on and a trip to London as well. So all exciting here. Good morning, I've just been um, listening to some really high vibe music. It was like, doo, doo, doo. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was really good though. I was thinking I should actually listen to music more when I'm walking. So what I tend to do is listen to podcasts. I'm always trying to feed my brain with information because I don't read. I know that sounds really bad, but let me back that up. I am so dyslexic. I do not read because I just don't understand what I'm reading. So I have to listen. What an absolutely stunning day. The river's gone down. If you watched my vlog a few weeks ago, you will remember that it all was here, everywhere. The water and there was a random swan swanning around too. Yeah, I, I really struggle with reading. I don't understand what I'm reading, so I tend to just not read, which is really not good for me. And I tend to listen mainly to Audible or podcasts. That is my thing. And I've, I've learned so much from podcasts. I totally recommend them. If you're not into them, then I've got loads of recommendations please do send me a message. Uh, you can do that on Instagram. And I'm just walking around. I'm trying to avoid the dog walkers. <laughs> I don't want them to feel like I'm videoing them. There we go, we're back on the path. Um, yeah, so I totally recommend podcasts. I really love them. There are so many different ones, I've got loads. So depending on what you're into, you can find some really interesting stuff. I also listen to it when I'm uh, driving. I find it a really good time to listen and feel like I'm learning things. So it's a really good thing to do. Oh, isn't it looking pretty? I can't wait for spring. It's the first of Feb this week. And January was long. It was really long, longer than normal, I think. So I'm quite looking forward to February. Tomorrow I am off to a spa, which I am so excited about. I'm off with a friend and I have not been to this spa before, but I have heard amazing things. It wasn't the cheapest of spa trips. It's probably the most expensive one I've ever been on, but apparently it's amazing. So I cannot wait to fill you in on it. In fact, I think I need to do like a whole blog post on it because yeah, I can't wait. I don't really normally do this sort of thing, but it's kind of birthday treat for me. That's, that's the, what I'm thinking, birthday treat. So I can't wait to take you with me on that. I was going to say good, but I think I've started <laughs> so far um, this morning saying good morning, good morning, good morning. You probably have it up and be going, good morning. So it's still Monday. I have been working on the computer. I've been finishing a shoot that I am editing for a client that I did last week. So I'm working on that, nearly done. I'm the slowest editor. I don't know why. I just take ages going through things. Ugh. Anyway, I need to speed up on that. Oh, I've got these new earrings in. So this, I picked up these in Oliver Bonus. Can you see that? Better here. There we are. 
they're like little pearls there we go i've got really small ears so they're actually quite annoying so i can't really wear big earrings because it just looks stupid like i saw some really lovely studs but they were like massive they're like about that big and i thought they were gonna look stupid so these are little well they're not really rings they're just like this i got them on saturday when we went into harrogate's this new massive oliver boner shop and it's amazing it's really good it's got like clothes obviously it's got all the accessories and then it's got furniture it's really big all the other ones that i know are in stations and things like that in london and they're always a bit small and you kind of have to squeeze past and i've always got a big bag with me you know anyway it's really good so totally recommend it they've got some really nice jewelry in there that's not too expensive affordable um that's quite pretty so i picked up these uh, my husband hates them he hates anything like hoop earrings he's like nope and I said, look, you should be pleased. Everybody I know is all getting their ears pierced all the way up here, around here. <laughs> Not me. I think I'm pretty scared. <laughs> My daughter, on the other hand, who is, the eldest one is 10, is absolutely desperate to get her ears pierced. I don't know how old you were, but I'm sure I was about 15. And I had to wait and it was a big deal. And I went with a friend and we went to go and get it done. I can't even remember who we went with, whether we went with both the mums together, we must have done. And it, it was like a really lovely day out. I just remember this, you know, this whole build up to it and then doing it. And so I kind of want that for Phoebe, but she wants them done now. Apparently everybody's had them done already. She's the last one to do it. I was like, oh, okay. But no, I'm gonna wait for a little bit longer, I think just because i think it's something you want to do as an adult as well and you can buy nice earrings and things like that and you can't wear them really at school so it just seems all a bit silly but apparently everybody else that's 10 has their ears pissed i didn't know that uh anyway that's a bit of a uh, going i'm diverting off i've been writing my newsletter for february i can't believe it is nearly february so what we now we're on the 30th of january the longest month ever um so i've been writing my blog post i have a lady who works for me who basically translates my verbal dictations and she types it out and a lot of it is like rubbish so she has to sift through what i'm saying to then make sense of it to make a blog post <laughs> and i mean i've tried before to make to, to, to write one myself and it just doesn't work what I type is not what I'm thinking if that makes sense if anyone else is dyslexic on here you will know what I mean it is impossible so I've decided that I in my grand old age of 40 I have decided where my strengths lie and where my strengths don't lie and my strengths should not lie in writing of any sort reading writing so I can take photos and I can sort of talk if I'm thinking about what I'm going to say before I say it. So I dictate messages to her and then she writes the blog post. It's amazing. So she, we've just been emailing now because she's just finished it. It's ready to go for the first. We're never ready for the first of the month. We're always, we're always like, it's the third. And I still we're still trying to work back and forth, ready to put it in. So I she's actually even now put it into the website for me yeah i know she's brilliant i'd love her to do more i really would because she's so good and she, so she's put it in there so then i need to check it read through it uh put any links in if she's not managed to put them in most of the time she's done those she's so good and then i need to put photographs in um on on the blog post the template that you get is a bit rubbish and i think this is something i need to look into for upgrading my emails that go out i've got quite a lot of subscribers now so on my website i've got a box where you can subscribe and put your email in and then you will get notifications when i write a new blog post i will just link it through it and send it to everybody on my mailing list but i've got quite a lot of people which is really nice people are always saying you need to make sure that you have different avenues so it's not just your instagram you rely on and I really think that now two of my friends have just got hacked again this morning on Instagram and it, you know Instagram could go like that and then you don't have anyone's contact details you don't have anything so I obviously have got lots of different avenues that I work on which could be a good thing or a bad thing because I spread myself out on all over these platforms whereas some people just focus on Instagram and that's how they build their bank of people so that you know is how 
some people work and that you know probably does work better than perhaps me spraying myself too thinly but anyway why did i come on here and tell you about february and also i uh, don't look behind me i've still got all those clothes to sort that's my new york stuff that i've just sort of piled up i'm going to go and sort out these they are horrendous I haven't had them done for like three weeks now oh it still likes me doesn't it so i'm gonna go and sort out these and i think i'm gonna do my toes too because if I'm off to my spa tomorrow, if I've got time, I might try and get both of them done so that I don't look like this. They're all chipped and falling off and just look a bit odd. Plus the regrowth, I hate that bit. I'm quite tempted to do this kind of natural look again though because it's lasted, I think, a little bit longer because it blends really well. So I might just do that again and do it on my toes and then I'll keep it nice and fresh and ready for spring, which is just around the corner. I I've, oh, I keep getting more and more emails. I think January is quite a slow month and now work is starting to trickle through. Um, so I've got quite a few emails today that I need to sort out and get back to. Anyway, I'm going to go and sort out these and I will show you when I come back if they look good. We'll see. Oh, little pheasant. Oh my gosh, I'm going to try to try to video and try not to video into the lake. I have just arrived at Grantley Hall and this is where I am spending the day. This is a little birthday treat for myself. How cute is that little duck house there? Oh, look at the rainbow. Wow, this is beautiful. So if you guys have not been here before, then you need to look it up. It is possibly the most amazing hotel I think I've ever been to. I have not been to the spa yet, but I'm about to go look at, I mean, look at this. How stunning is this? Absolutely beautiful. That's the house just there. And I think the spa is towards the back. I don't even know, look at that. I'm just gonna take a photo. So we're just approaching up around the house you have to drive around the front of the house oh my gosh look at these cars wow um i know nothing about cars but they look quite cool so this is the entrance there we'll come back to that um and then we're just going to drive around to the other car park i'm not sure my car is uh good enough to park here Da, da, da. Hello, so I've just arrived here at Grantley Hall. I love this place. I literally love it. We've only I've only been here a few times now, but it is just amazing. Like the service is like wow, and you feel like you're in I don't know, I feel like I'm in a doll's house. Like it's so beautiful. It's recently been done up. I will put a link to it below so you can go and find it on here. Uh, but I totally recommend it for a real, really special treat. So as you all know, my 40th was nearly two weeks ago now. Oh, it's starting to rain with the rainbow. Where's it gone? Just over there. And a friend of mine said, oh, do you want to come to the spa with me at Grantley? And I was like, oh yeah, you know, I've heard about it lots. I've been to, I've been to, I think all the spas in Yorkshire over the years. I think we've been up here now in Yorkshire for about eight years and I think I've tried most spas. However, I have not tried this spa. So I'm very excited to try it. I have very high standards, as you know, um, and I will give you some good feedback, hopefully, on what it's like. I probably won't be able to take many videos in there because obviously people don't want videos of them in swimming costumes, but I'll try and do some photos and things so that you can see exactly what it's like. But i am just excited to have a day here this feels really naughty a random tuesday to be going to a spa is not my normal thing to do i'm really 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 naughty however i'm just treating it as a special treat for my birthday still i think my birthday's just going to go on all year isn't it i'll pretend it's for my birthday and continue that anyway i'm hoping there's some sort of maybe snack i've not had any breakfast obviously the diet's out the window today although i'm hoping it'll be healthy seeing as it is a spa but i better go in my friend's already in there waiting so i better go 
So I've just managed to catch myself in a restaurant looking down, but I just wanted to show you a bit of it from the outside. Oh, a little bit windy. So I think that is one of the restaurants there. We've not been to that one. I think it's called 88. Oh, there's a bar. And then I think this is a restaurant as well. So I thought that was the spa, but no, I'm completely wrong. So I think you have to go through to the main reception. Oh my gosh, I'm not dressed for this. And then <laughs> head towards the back of the hotel, I think. Well, my friend is already there, so I'm just about to meet her. So you walk around this path. I feel like I'm on the yellow brick road here. The yellow brick road. Do, 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 do. Like literally, I'm so excited. Uh, even though it's the most miserable day, because I'll be inside. This looks lovely, doesn't it? Imagine sitting out here in the summer. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's just beautiful. So this is the garden at the front of the house. So you drive down over here, and then this is the house. Here we go. So it was an old house, which they have obviously re-decorated and done up. I think it took years of doing up. So it's really quiet. You can only fit seven people in here, which I can't believe because we've got all these sunbeds. Maybe they're just doing seven at the moment, I think. Or is it that there's eight people? But so this is the outside bit. And hopefully we'll have just seen inside. It's literally amazing. Beautiful. It's all done so nicely. So on the side, I think there's a, a sauna and a steam room. I'm gonna go investigate. My friend's just gone for her treatment. I'm not up till like 11, I think. Yeah, I'm so excited to be here. It's a bit, a bit nippy outside, but I think what you can do is go through those doors and come out onto this bit. Oh, it's nippy. I'm gonna go in. So this is the snow room. I've never seen anything like this. Hilarious, it's actual snow. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's freezing, I'm out. amazing I feel so relaxed just even sitting here it's so nice and quiet too you know when you go to some spas where it's just really busy it's really not it's lovely it's so nice Put on one of my fantasy swimming costumes I've worked with fantasy for quite a few years now but I love their costumes because they've got the built-in kind of bra which is great for people like me, obviously. 
so if you're looking for something with a bit more support then totally recommend them there's still no one here it's like lovely so my friend's still in her treatment i'm about to go and have mine i am having a full body massage i think we booked this in november um i can't quite remember whatever it is i'm sure it's gonna be amazing i think it's like a full hour as well like treatment just so excited I haven't been in the water yet because I thought actually I didn't want to get wet before my treatment. But if it's an hour, so I did. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and disappear for an hour, do that, come back, and then I think we've got about an hour before lunch and so we're gonna go in the water and have a little swim. Get ready for our lunch. We've pre-ordered that already, so you pre-order it when you come and sit down to have your coffee in the morning. You can have drinks actually here by the bar, but I think you have to go to reception to order, so I might do that this afternoon. And apparently we've got until about four o'clock here. It's so nice. Well, people are going outside, so you just slide the door, open it, and then you can go out. There's literally two other couples here, that's it. I totally recommend this if you need a break. So I've just come out, it's still daylight, it's about to get dark though, and I'm heading back to collect the kids. I've had an amazing day, totally recommend this spa, it's, it's like another level, it's like, I don't know, I just feel totally relaxed. So I had a full body massage and it was, it was like very intense massage. I've got really bad shoulders, I've got very hunched shoulders that I really like wanted to focus on that, so it feels amazing now. I just feel like a totally different person. The lunch was really good, really nice, um, not too small. You know how sometimes you go on these spa kind of packages or deals or whatever and they come out with the food and you're like, oh, I'm still hungry. It was perfect. Uh, my lovely friend did a happy birthday message, which was so nice. And then we've just sat sipping a, a glass of Prosecco by the pool. It was so good. We went in the sauna, the steam room, we went outside, we went on the little jet things. I could have done with another couple of hours longer. Uh, it's just a shame that I've got to pick up. Um, but it was so nice. So I totally recommend this spa if you are looking for a way to totally relax. Definitely recommend going midweek. It's a lot cheaper than the weekend. And look on the website, they have got a package deal on there. I think I might write a blog post about it because it was, yeah, it was just a really lovely day. And I just think, people would really love to hear about this place if you're not from Yorkshire then you probably won't know it so well but it's really yeah totally recommend it I better go I'm, I'm late as usual and I also need to work out what I'm going to cook tonight I have no idea so such a bad mum just been enjoying myself good morning it is Wednesday it feels like a Friday I think after my spa trip yesterday I feel completely rejuvenated. Is that the word? Um, yeah, I suppose it is. I just feel like a new woman. I feel a bit achy, like on different parts of my body. I have the massage was quite strong, um, in a good way. Like I feel like my shoulders are like much further down, and my posture's better. I just feel a bit bit better generally all over and it was actually just really nice to take some me time it's obviously something that i don't normally do uh, so it was a real luxury but i came back and i was like to my sister and my mum we need to go there it was amazing out of all the smiles i've been to up here i would say it was pretty up there there are some really good spas up here i totally recommend like loads of them if you need any, any recommendations do let me know oh, after i've just said i don't go to spa <laughs> i do for special treats like for birthdays that's about it so i've actually booked to go for my mum's birthday although i shouldn't say that in case she watches this don't watch it don't listen mum but yeah i just thought it's like a super special place to go although apparently regular people go there all the time and like they, I think you could be like a member. I mean, that would be the dream. So anyway, today it's back to normal. I've got my wellies on, my dirty wellies. <laughs> my 
gym trousers. I look like a right mess. I always hope I don't bump into anyone because they're just like, who's that random woman? Uh, I've got a scarf on and of course I've got my coffee. I'm listening to a podcast. I'm trying to get through it. I'm listening. I'm in a book club podcast thing and uh, I need to get through it because I'm so behind because it's the 1st of February, guys. 1st of Feb. A little bit of blue sky up there to celebrate. I think it's going to be a good month. It's a really short one. I've got two daughters' birthdays and half term. So I'm got a feeling that not much work is going to get done in that time. But I've got a feeling it's going to be a good one. And um, I am secretly hoping to achieve lots of work. Today I'm at home. I'm preparing for the people coming on Monday that are going to sort out my larder. I have got to buy lots of ingredients to go into all the jars and stuff to top them all up. So that is first on my agenda. Then I've got a million emails to reply to. Then I've got a load of content to shoot. And then have a photo shoot to edit from last week from a client, which I still haven't finished. And tomorrow I am off to London. Um, I'm really stringing this birthday thing out. I'm off to meet my sisters. One lives in Norfolk, one lives in London. My mum's coming up and we're all going out and it's a surprise and I have no idea where. I've just been told to wear a dress. So I'm hoping a jumper dress is going to be okay because this weather does not lend itself to a nice pretty dress, which is unfortunate because I have got quite a few that I really want to get on, but the weather is just so grim. I don't think I can do that. Anyway, so I will catch up with you later. I'm going to try out this Charlotte Tilbury makeup that's been sent to me. So I want to show you that and I'm sure I can show you a few more things. Anyway, have a fabulous Wednesday. I don't know why I said it like that. That's weird. So I have just been photographing this little set here. So this has been sent to me by Charlotte Tilbury to try out and tell you all about. This is one of their new products here. So, so it is called, it's quite tricky to focus on it. How about if I hold it down? <laughs> there we go. It's called, I can't even see what's called here. Here we go. Matte, it's very matte, can't see it. Here we are. Matte Blue Beauty Blush Wand. So I thought I'd better explain the products in a little bit more detail. First up is this. So it is called the Magic Cream. It's just called Charlotte's Magic Cream. Let me just show you the consistency. It's kind of like, can you see there? It's like a kind of creamy, I've just been putting my finger in, <laughs> a creamy, illuminating, glowing cream. Like it just feels amazing on the skin. So I put that on my skin this morning um, when I applied my makeup smells so nice it's really really lovely if you go into the charlotte tilbury um you can obviously try out all the products they're really helpful the pe the team i find whenever i go into any of their charlotte tilbury uh places um and they can give you a sample of this to try which i did because i was like what is all all the hype about and then i tried it i was like oh it's so nice. Um, I think they even do a night cream as well, which is like a real luxury. Um, so I have one of these to use, which I already know I like. So I'm thrilled with that. It's lovely. Let me just do it up. The thing about, also I love about Charlotte Tilbury is the packaging. Everything just looks very nice. So we got, I got that in my little parcel from them. I also got, this is what I was trying to talk about earlier. It was the Matte Beauty Blush Wand. So, so my au pair who is very into makeup is like, oh my gosh, they're really hard to get hold of. They're really, really good product. Uh, everybody loves it. I was like, oh wow. So we've just tried it out and it's really nice. So it comes like this in with a little kind of padded brush at the bottom and you have to twist it. You have to be very careful because it's quite um, a strong pigmentation, if you know what I mean. It's quite th thick. You don't want loads to squirt out. So you literally just dab on what colour you want or you could line it on. And then I just tap. The light's not doing this justice. Honestly, it's really nice. On for my blusher. Now I'm gonna try this when I, I'm gonna take it to London actually to show my sisters because I'm hoping it will last a lot longer than all my other blushes that I have. 
I um I do love a bit of blush and this is this is kind of like a little bit it is matte isn't it <laughs> I was gonna say it's a little bit matte it is matte so it's it gives a matte feel rather than a kind of glowing feel which I don't know if that will work or not oh did you see I got my nails done I forgot to show you yeah I'm really pleased with those got my toes done too all good for the spa thank goodness um and I remember to shave my legs for the massage so it was all good uh yeah so let me put the lid on that so I'm gonna keep trying this and come back to you on that one but I so far so good I have got the lip stuff on already so I won't show you this is called lip cheat cheat sorry cheat it's a really nice color it's actually quite similar to my lip color oh look I've got it <laughs> I don't know what I've done there gone over uh, so I put it on and my opa was like, it basically looks like your lip. And I was like, oh, that's good. So I I don't tend to use a lip liner, but this is very nice. So I'm going to keep trying this one for you all. This is another product that they have sent. So it is kind of, excuse it, a lip gloss basically, but it's nice and thick. I had this on for about half an hour, the other one. I'm going to keep applying it and seeing, um, or I probably should not. I'll apply it in the morning tomorrow and see how long it lasts. But I would totally recommend this. And then I have this, which is a lovely, I want to say bronzer, but it's got a bit of blusher in it. I think it's like a bronzer brusher. It's a swish and glow blusher. Pillow, and it's from the Pillow Talk range, which is what I am talking about over on my Instagram. So I've just been filming a reel. So I put this on earlier and it's so nice. It gives like a really bronzy glow. I tend to do my bronzer like this in a three motion. A little bit on the end of the nose. Okay, the light's not doing very well here, but I promise you in real life, it looks so much better. I'm really yeah pleased with all those beautiful products so for confirming a reel you can i'll try and put a link below to this range so you can go and find it on their website and they are bringing out new products so they've been emailing me with different things that are going to come out over i think the next few weeks and months and things so hopefully i'll be able to show you more charlotte tilbury products i love anything to do with makeup so i'm a massive fan i find that makeup just it makes you feel like a different person. It's a bit like when you have your hair done, which is happening next week, thank goodness. Don't look at my roots. And it just makes you, or it makes me feel so much better. I love makeup. And I love the way it can transform somebody from looking, you know, into someone completely different. I love watching makeup tutorials. I think they're amazing. And it's so clever to learn from those techniques that you can use on yourself. I pretty much wear everyday makeup, uh, but I do like to be a little bit adventurous. So I love to watch these videos. Anyway, I've now got to photograph a some uh, Sophie Allport things and the light is going because it's nearly, I think it's like nearly four o'clock now. So I don't know why I've left it so long. It's a bit of a dreary day. Let me show you over here. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm kneeling. <laughs> I'm literally kneeling up, down. I couldn't find anywhere with the light. And I thought there was actually a window here, although it's very dark. I thought this is probably the best place. I just can't work in the other room. Let me show you. It just feels so dark. Oh, that's my, hold on. This is all my, um, my little props for my uh, Sophie Allport stuff. Um, so just been setting up a little still life there. Really need to go and do some emails and work. I've got to utilise this time before all the children come home. I'm not picking up, which is great. Yeah, so this is the room which I always use for my photos. Obviously it's dark, this is not a great example, but it's so dark. I don't know how to make it lighter. I think all this kind of brick work makes it really dark. And I think the fact that there's tiny windows <laughs> probably doesn't help. We really could do with, because we've got some skylight things. Can you see there? We could really do with a load on the other side, I think, just to make the light come in here. It's a shame because when the light does come through the window, it's so nice, but it rarely happens, especially in this weather. Hopefully now we're in February, the weather's going to get better though. So tomorrow, this is, I'm waffling on a bit. 
tomorrow I am heading to London. I'm going to go and see my sisters, which I'm very excited about. They are taking me out for a surprise and I don't know where it is. I think my, my younger sister said that we have to be there at three. So I'm imagining that it's afternoon tea. I do love afternoon tea. Obviously, I had a bit of a cheat day on the diet yesterday. Gonna have a cheat day tomorrow. So I have to be back on it again next week. And I think I'm out for dinner loads next week. So that's a disaster. This is the problem with dieting that I can't ever keep it up, but I need to. So uh, yeah, I will take you with me tomorrow to London. I've got a really early start. I think the train leaves at eight in the morning and I've got to get all the kids to school before that. So wish me luck. I'm a bit annoyed because I meant to book a 8.20 train and for some reason it's clicked wrong and gone to 8.02. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to get my coffee, a little prep breakfast, which I love, in time. I really don't think I'm going to. I'm going to have to leave the house before seven. It's just not going to happen with three kids and then picking up another two along the way. It's not going to happen, is it? But let's try because I don't want to pay for an e train ticket. So hopefully tomorrow you will see that I'm on a train and I've made it on time uh, to go meet my sisters. Then I'm going to do a spot of shopping, um, try and take some photos and then go and meet them all. And then I'll be able to let you know where I'm going because it is a surprise. My sister did say, do you want to know today? I said, no, I want a surprise, which isn't really true. I do want to know, but we're just going with this. Um, anyway, I need to go and do some work before they all get back. So I will disappear. Bye-bye. Good morning, um, it's uh, Thursday I think. I have arrived in King's Cross. Um, it was a very early start and I stupidly watched something awful on TV last night so basically couldn't sleep because so I was terrified. Um, so I'm a bit tired, I've had to apply lots of makeup. Probably fallen off, I did it so early. Um, but I'm loving the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer blusher thing in the compact that I showed you yesterday. It's so nice. It like gives this really lovely glow. I've forgotten how much I love bronzer. I don't know why I've not been wearing it. Anyway, so I'm here. I'm about to go and meet my mum. She has finished work a bit early. So I'm going to go meet her in John Lewis on Oxford Street. And then I think one of my sisters is going to turn up there. And hopefully the other one a bit later. I'm not sure. But I know that we're going somewhere at three, so we've got plenty of time and I'm not really to eat much before that. So I had a little prep breakfast on the train and now um, I'm going to try to not eat anything until we go. I wonder where I'm going. I've got to go and get the tube now to um, Oxford Street. I hate navigating it as a dyslexic, although it's nice and colourful, which does help. I still get really lost and I know London quite well I kind of grew up near here so I know it really well but it daunts me every time to know what I'm doing also I don't have a paper ticket anymore I've got a ticket on my phone which I find really bizarre um, trying to get through barriers with a, a phone and then I worry that my phone's gonna die it didn't charge up properly on the train anyway I will do some videos later on of what we get up to I've got a bag on wheels um, which is a bit annoying for the day but at least it's on wheels I don't have to carry it anyway speak to you later so we've just arrived um, I've never been here before and um, we're about to go in. They've all gone in without me. Apparently it's very nice. My sister says she's been once before, so we will see.
Good morning. It is Saturday. I got back late last night on the train. The train broke down. Not luckily with me on it, but I had to get a different train. And we were so worried because of the strikes that it would be cancelled anyway. But anyway, it wasn't cancelled because of that. So I had to get a later train, so I didn't get back till late. Anyway, today the children are all out doing activities. My husband's working. My fab au pair is working today, which is amazing. And I am trying to organise this. She must be like, what is she doing now? Um, so it's Matilda's birthday on Monday and she is very into football at the moment. I think I've spoken on here about parties and over the years I'm kind of just a bit fed up of doing parties. I just find there's so much money and I, I just think sometimes it's not very necessary. Also, they've they've had parties now, apart from all the lockdowns where we didn't have them, but they have done lots of parties. So I've decided to just have one friend to do a sleepover. So today we are, this one friend's coming back later on and we are going to go to a gaming place that's new in Leeds. They've invited me to come and try it out. So I thought this is a great thing that we could do for Matilda's birthday too. So we're heading there um, later on, I think about 5.30. So we're going to go out for something to eat before. We'll probably just go to like Five Guys, something like that, that everyone eats and everyone likes. And then we will head to this gaming place. And then now I'm trying to set up this little space here for them to sleep in. So I did a Amazon order quickly. I've got a load of balloons, which I actually need to blow up. Some bunting here, plates and cups and things like that. We've got some cake that we're gonna have later on. Um, oh, straws, that's good. I love these little packages that you can buy on there. And then there's more bunting. I've got so much bunting. I need to work out where all this bunting is going. So I thought what I could do is put the duvets on here. I've got two little goal posts to put at the end. And then in here, I've got a load of random rubbishy things, you know, that you have to get. And so I'm going to put these in little bags for them on the bed. I, I don't really think any of this is necessary, but she really wanted a party and I... I've just sort of put my foot down with it all and just said it's we just don't need to do one let's just have one really lovely friend and do something really nice so that is the plan that football key ring so I'm going to make up some little bags now um decorate these beds put the duvets on um and make it kind of like a quite a cool place to sleep hopefully tonight um so it feels like we're doing something for her I've got my other daughter's birthday at the end of uh, February. So February is always like a busy month. And again, we've decided to not do a party, which I'm really pleased about. And we're going to, me and her are going to go away and do an activity away together, which hopefully will work really well. And just something nice for us to get to do. So um, I'm really pleased that I've managed to convince them to not do parties. Anyway, I'll be back on here later. I will show you what it looks like once I've finished because this looks rubbish. Um, and um, try and give you an idea of how you can do this yourself. You can obviously hire companies to come in and set up all these beds. And we've done that plenty of times in the past. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to do it on our own and sort this out i thought these little goals would be really useful to be able to have in the future so yeah let's see how this goes guys right so i've got the two mattresses there now uh put the goals behind um and then those are football balloons i did look at trying to find some football cushions anyway couldn't find them um so we've gone balloons on the bed as well i've put the little party bags with the load of rubbish inside them so that'll keep them happy for a bit still got millions of balloons to do but i'm hoping it will do the trick i've set up in here on the table i've just put some balloons oh one of them some of them fallen off <gasps> Oh. <laughs> so I did have some balloons on the stairs here I'll redo those uh, they're on their way back I need to wrap up some presents I'm so organised aren't I and I've just put this out on the table here I'm not quite sure why because we're going out to eat but I thought maybe we could either have breakfast there tomorrow or we can have some birthday cake so a bit random but I feel, I'm just trying to make an effort I feel, I feel quite guilty can you tell that I'm not doing a birthday party 
feel very guilty. Um, and then we've got the sign up here. I kind of probably should have hung it from the beams a bit more, but anyway. Uh, before I go, I want to show you the cupboards because I have this weekend, not this weekend, on Monday, sorry, a company coming over. I'm going to put a link to their company below to transform this kitchen and I literally cannot wait. So here is the kitchen. So we've got this awful pipe that runs down. Don't tell anyone if you're on Instagram and you actually know that because I don't, I don't alert people to that. But the pipe was already there and we want, I wanted this cupboard there. So my husband had to sort of cut this out and then he's painted it brown so it kind of blends in a bit better. Anyway, <laughs> don't look at the pipe. Uh, look at the cupboards. So it's a really awkward, small, little larder cupboard. Let me just let the light in slightly. We've got the plugs down there, which is quite useful to have. Um, he's put lights above it, so I think that's what that wire is. But obviously on the other side, we've got all the coffee machine and all of that in there. So it's quite useful to have. Anyway, they are coming to transform this and make it look like a beautiful larder. You can see I've already got some jars here, some of which I've got labels on. Gosh, that's filthy. And down here, I've got other little labels, but they're going to come and sort this out. And I'm hoping this as well. So this is all the jars, the, the what do you call it? Sauces and jams and things. And then they're also going to come and do this as well, I think, I hope. So this is all cereals um, and things like that. Um, stuff to cook with, some pasta and rice and things like that. So I've been stocking up on all my spices. I just got, I think there were three for two on my online shop. So I just got a load of those. And then over here, I've got a load more cereals and things. So they said just stock up on everything so they can use it in the jars and containers and things they've got. So I think they're gonna be here most of Monday, organizing and transforming the space. So I'm gonna to have to take a photo and document it. They're going to be doing the cupboards just under here as well. Um, and then this is a, 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 pre, um, a piece where I'm doing a blog on it. So they're coming to do it as an ad almost. And I am going to do my blog post to promote them. Um, let me show you in here. So we have got these little steppy things, which they quite like. It looks like we've got a chocolate. <laughs> I haven't, but my children do. My husband does. So they have a they have a tiny spoon in porridge sometimes or at the weekends when we have like croissants or something like that. But um you can't buy it anywhere. You literally can't buy it. I only do online shopping and can't buy an Asda, can't buy it on online, I'm sure you can in real life. Like a cardo, Morris I just can't ever get it. I don't know why. Um so I just bulk bought some on Amazon. Um they must think I'm nuts, you know, but anyway, that's why we've got loads of chocolates, but we don't normally. So that's normally where all the tins are. So I think we're going to keep this similar, but she's going to stack it better so we can actually see what we've got. Um, she's ordered Claire, who runs this company with her husband, Ben, lots of different containers and things for all of the stuff to go in. Um, so I literally can't wait. There's a lot of random stuff in there. So I'm hoping that they're just going to... I think the idea is they're going to pull it all out on Monday and then go through the whole lot and then sort it all out. Um, but I will be videoing all this on my next vlog. So this vlog ends on Sunday night and you will then see, hopefully on the following blog, vlog, sorry, all of this being done. And yes, I will write a blog post all about them too. Hmm. Good afternoon. We are finally nearly ready to go. Um, we were going to go and then meet my husband there because he was going to be stuck at work. And then he's finally finished. He went in really early this morning. He was in at six um, and he had quite a few operations. So he's managed to get them done, which is amazing. So he's going to meet us and we're going to go to Five Guys, have something to eat. I've just got my hair. I'm actually staying in for once. I'm not sure how long it'll last. So yeah, we're going to go to Five Guys and then we're heading to this place called The The 
Park Playground, so it's new. So where did I look? So there is one, let me just have a look. Oh, choose your place, choose your location. We're going to Leeds. Do they have, oh, I can't remember where they are now. Let me have a look and see if we can find it again. So basically I think they're in other countries, but they have one in Birmingham and they have one in Leeds. So we are heading to the Leeds one. They've invited us to go to try it out. So I'll try and describe it. I'm going to do some videos, hopefully, so you can see. You have to put on this kind of headset that puts you on and then it puts you into this virtual world and then you play a game. So we uh, are taking Raph with us, but I don't think he'll be able to do much because I think you have to be eight to do this. So I think there's like a little cafe area where he's going to sit. Um, and then we're all taking turns, hopefully, to pitch in. I'm not sure how it's going to work. But anyway, I'm quite excited to go and try this out. We are all going to get in the car in a second, but I want to show you some stuff that's arrived. Hold on. So while I was away in London yesterday, post arrived. It's from this company called Here. If I just come out a bit, I'll try and focus so you can see it. It's called Harry and the Gang. They are on Instagram. So they've sent me this jumper here, which is like a sweatshirt kind of jumper type thing. Um, could be dressed up or down, I suppose. And then they sent this one too, which I really love. I love this green with the pink. Um, so today I'm going to wear this, hoping I'm going to look quite cool. Um, I've also got on some leggings that they've given me. Can I sh put this down here and see if I can show it to you? So I didn't even know they did leggings, but they've actually sent them to me. They're almost a bit like gym legging type things, but I'm actually going to wear them out now. Um, I thought I'd put some trainers on and a jack and a jacket um, and actually wear these out. I think they're quite good for wearing, oh, I've got the label, that's <laughs> my foot. Um, I think they're quite good to wear um, like casually around the house. They're really nice and soft and they don't feel too tight or anything. Um, so I'm gonna wear that with this blue top. Now, oh. So anyway, we're gonna go. So I'm gonna take you with, with us so you can see this place. I do have to mark this as an ad PR because we've been invited to go uh, to tell you about it. So I will be videoing on here somehow. Hopefully there won't be other people in the room. I always find it a bit awkward when there are other people there. So hopefully there won't be. And I can show you what it's like. And then, uh, if you want to step back just a little bit, and to your right, do you see those um, buttons over there? If you look to your right, there you go. Um, oh. You can actually reach that, you know. Um, do you see that button at the bottom over there? If you look at the bottom. You're going up in the lift? <laughs> yeah? Woo! Yeah. 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 Oh, that's that then. Oh my god. Right, so now that you're at the top, if you just want to step off. I mean, step onto the plank. Step onto the plank, that's it. Well done. Well done, Tills. Very good, balancing. Jump. Look, I'm gouged. Oh, can you see that? Out my face when I fell off the plank. I'm literally so embarrassed. There is video footage of me falling off the plank, too. I'm so embarrassed. I had to fill an instant form. Oh my gosh. Like, it's like a big dent in my nose. I've also pulled off my nail. Yeah. Anyway, apart from that, it was absolutely brilliant. Totally recommend it. Oh my gosh, look at that.
Good afternoon. I'm just outside my favourite house. I can't wait for the wisteria to come out of this. We are having a lazy Sunday, but we are off to the little shop in the village to get ingredients for baking because we've run out um, and a few other bits. But it's a really nice day. It's actually quite warm. Um, I was going to say for January. We're in February now, aren't we? Uh, February the... I think it's about the 5th now. Um, so we're going to go and collect um, things. It looks absolutely amazing. Well done. So clever. This is, this is for Matilda's birthday. Wow. Well done, make a wish. Good evening, I am signing off now with this beautiful sky. We've just had a roast dinner, which was uh, delicious. And now we are gonna have a chill out, watch a little movie before we start to get ready for school tomorrow. It's Monday again. I don't know how this has happened, the week has flown by. Thank you all for watching and please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. See you all next week.